Hello guys, my name is Om Kamat and I am a junior at the University High School. My project name is Optimization of Rocket Nozzle Design. The current problem is that a new rocket nozzle needs to be designed as the current designs such as the bell nozzle have large amounts of plume expansion and delinearization of exhaust flow as altitude is increased, and this results in a significant loss of effective thrust. Throughout the project, I used my heavily modified laptop to run open foam simulations at much faster speeds. As you can see here, I use a 3D printer, I use a P-dot tube, as you can see right here, and that is connected to my differential pressure analog to digital converter, and that itself is connected to my Arduino, which I have programmed so that it may display the pressure and air velocity. In addition to that, I also use a 64 millimeter ducted fan and RC parts. The main goal of this project was to create an altitude compensating rocket nozzle and more specifically test my theory of cosine loss cancellation. Essentially, I theorize that if a small portion of the exhaust is directed around the main outflow at higher pressures, then it will expand to form a protective barrier around the main plume preventing its expansion. So I designed several rocket nozzles that utilize this theory and design, along with some other designs that I thought might work. I simulated everything at the same atmospheric pressure, chamber pressure, and roughly similar dimensions for the rocket nozzle itself. Analyzing some of the graphs I created from this data, I was able to determine that the cosine loss cancellation theory was working, as the nozzles that utilized it showed special patterns in velocity and pressure graphs, which show a barrier being formed around the main plume, with most of the velocity inside the main plume being directed straight back. The other Bell Aerospike hybrid nozzles I designed also showed to be effective in containing the plume expansion. For fun, I 3D printed these small models of my designs and put smoke through them. And again, the cosine loss cancellation seemed to be working in this experiment. Going forward, I plan to test all my designs in real life by 3D printing one third scale models and pushing air through by using a ducted fan, such as this. There are straws in this region here so that any vortices that may be formed will be immediately destroyed and therefore the data that can be collected here will be pretty uniform. I program my Arduino to display the pressure and velocity data and I'll make graphs from those. Regarding the usefulness of my research to others, I think that others can definitely try to continue experimenting with my cosine loss cancellation theory by building full scale versions made out of metal and composite material and actually testing with internal combustion. In the end, this project seems to be going pretty well for now. And I hope that my real life testing will, re will result in my theory being fully verified. Thanks for watching.